and Satyam. Let's discuss about class 6 biology. Our subject is biology. And the topic is the cell. It is lesson number 2 of class 6 related to ICSC board. Friends, what is a cell? A cell is the smallest unit of life. A cell is the smallest unit of life that has life on it on its own and can exist on its own. Okay? The cell is the smallest thing that has life and can exist on its own. We all are made up of cells, no? You, I, animals, plants, we all are made up of cells. There are two types of organisms, unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms are those organisms which are made up of just a single cell and multicellular organisms are those organisms that are made up of many cells, millions and billions of cells. So cell is the basic unit of life. What is cell? Cell is the basic unit of life both structurally and functionally. How structurally? When two or more cells multiplies, when two or more cells multiply, they form a body known they are, when there are two or more cells, when they mix up, they form tissue. When there are two or more tissues, they form organ. And when there are two or more organs, what they form? An organ system. And so, they form the body. No. So, cell is structurally like this way. And how it is functionally? Cells have different labor at different parts of our body. Cell has different labor at different parts of our body. So cell is the functionally unit of life. So we have studied about unicellular and multicellular organisms. Examples of unicellular organisms are yeast, amoebas, no, and bacteria. And multicellular organisms, when we are talking about multicellular organisms, human beings, plants, animals, we all are multicellular organisms which are made up of many cells. So friends, our next topic is discovery of cell. Who discovered the cell? Who coined the cell? Who has invented the cell? Who has discovered the cell? Sorry. So cell was discovered at the very first by Robert Hooke in 1665. He coined the word cell. He was an English scientist. One day he was discover he was discovering about a dry cork. Dry slice of cork. He was taking a dry slice of cork and was searching on his microscope. Then he was, then he has found that it has it is made of some chambers like this one. He called these chambers cells. So cork is a dead cell, no. So he can't. He was unable to see what lies inside a living cell. What lies inside a living cell, he can't see, no. From that onwards, all the discoveries of the contents of the cell, of a living cell, are being made. And this is not possible without the help of microscope. So what is microscope? Earlier I have discussed with you that microscope is an instrument which makes things appear larger. Which makes things appear larger. So in this chapter we are going to study the structure of the microscope. So friends, what is a specimen? Specimen is the thing. Specimen is the thing to which we wish to observe. The thing we wish to observe on the microscope is known as specimen. And we place the specimen on the stage. What is the stage? The stage is the place where we put the specimen to see it through the eyepiece. Eyepiece is a lens. Through which we are seeing the specimen which is kept on the stage. So we are looking through the eyepiece and which is a lens. Okay. There are more lens. There are two or more in some microscopes which are known as objectives. What are objectives? There are two or more lenses in some microscopes. These are known as objectives which are used for seeing only the specimen. No. And there is a there is a mirror also. It is below the stage which directs light the specimen so that we can see it more clearly. And what is the use of lens? The, the lens is used, the lens is used like a magnifying glass, which magnifies the thing which we are seeing. Which magnifies the thing which we are seeing. Okay? So
so that only we can see it very clearly so the next discovery was been made by antony van leeuwenhoek antony van leeuwenhoek in 1672 he has discovered the single cell organism in water where he has discovered he has discovered a single cell organism in water the place is water and he has discovered single cell organism in 1672 remember the date 1672 is the date in which he had discovered the single cell organism in water with through which microscope is discovered the microscope was made by him only he has only made the microscope and then he discovered the single cell organism through which only all the vast world of microorganisms came it was the beginning of the world of microorganisms so before going further to the structure of the cell let's talk about the three activities two or three activities that is in your book the first activity is that we have to take uh, we have to take a peel of onion skin of an onion skin we have to take a peel of an onion skin and we have to cut it in in a small piece and we have to take the small piece and keep it in the stage so what is our specimen specimen is the onion peel piece it is the piece onion peel piece is the specimen and we are keeping it in what we are keeping it in place the stage the stage is the place in which we are keeping it and we are looking through what eye piece which is a lens okay then we have to stain it with through which we have to stain it we have to stain it with dilute safranin it is a type of dye what is dilute safranin dilute safranin is a type of dye which makes the thing seem more clear we can see the content of the cell why dye is appeared on this to see it more to make it more clear so that we can see no for that only it has been uh, a dilute safranin has been added on it okay and then we have to cover it with a cover slip what is a cover slip cover slip is a thin glass cover slip is a thin glass which is used to protect our specimen which is used to protect our specimen specimen is the object specimen is the object through which we are seeing with the eye piece and specimen is kept on stage remember friends specimen is the object okay so next when we, and then we have to see it through a high power of the microscope we have to see it with the high power of microscope remember we have to see it only through the high power of microscope so that we can see it more clear our next activity is we have to um, we have to take a we have to take final roots okay we have to take a grass and we have to make it possible that we are not damaging its root okay we have we don't have to damage its root and then we have to wash it thoroughly the roots the roots we have to wash it thoroughly and then we have to take a couple of final roots and keep it on this stage we have to take it a couple of final roots and keep it on, on the stage so the final roots are the specimen and we are keeping it on the stage and we are looking through the eye piece okay and sometimes when we have to look it more clear na through the microscope we align the objective we align the objective through the specimen and eye piece so that we can we can clearly state that what is inside and then what we have to do we are on the activity of uh, grass no uh, then you have taken a couple of final roots okay and then you have to uh, keep it and now we don't have to cover with cover it with a cover slip and then we have to see it and find and note the reading what is it is it a is it made up of the root is made up of single cell or multi cell you have to find that okay you will do activity and then you will find out find out 
Our next activity, next is the last one. So, our next activity is that we have to take, we have to scrape, uh, scrape, sorry, scrape, sorry. We have to scrape inside the cheek. We have to scrape inside the cheek with the help of a toothpick. A toothpick is a substance with the blunt end of a toothpick, no? We have to scrape inside the cheek and then pour and then dip it in, the, then drop it in a water, in a liquid like water or methylene, uh, or methylene, dilute methylene blue solution. We can drop it in water also and dilute methylene blue solution also. Okay? After the, putting it in the water or dilute methylene blue solution, then we have to look it through the, the through the microscope, through the eyepiece. But before this, we have to take a cover slip and cover it with it. Okay? Then we have to take a cover slip and cover it with it. Then we have to look it through the eyepiece. Then we will find that cells are made of, the cheek cells are made up of what? Flat irregular cells. Flat irregular cells. Okay? So our next topic is structure of the cell. The structure of the cell. In all of these activities that we have discussed uh, earlier, in all these activities we have seen that they are made up of different shape. They are of different shape and the size is also different, no? A cheek cell is flat and irregular, uh, irregular shape and uh, a plant cell is rectangular, oval, circular, no? And the Hmm. Huh, one more was there, no? Huh. Sure. We have done the plant cell, okay? And amoeba. Amoeba is with irregular shape, no? It changes its shape, no? So, and the muscular cell, muscular shape, the muscular cell shape is elongated, tubular, no? So, they are of different shapes. So let's discuss about this only. There is a, a cell is a sac like body. A cell is a sac like body which is bounded, which is bounded on its edge by what? By a membrane which is known as cell membrane and it is also known as plasma membrane. What is the name of the membrane? The name of the membrane is cell membrane and which is also known as plasma membrane. It is also known as plasma membrane. And what, how it is made up of? It is made up of lipoproteins. It is made up of lipoprotein. It is not written in your book. In which lipid means fat. In which lipid means fat. And protein you already know they are for the growth of the uh, growth of an organism. Okay. So cell membrane are made up of lipoprotein. And what they what they constitute? They constitute, it includes various organelles and cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a semi-fluid substance. It is a semi-fluid substance. It is, it is made of mostly of water. It is made mostly of water and it contains some salts and um, some salts and proteins. Some salts and proteins it contains. Okay? So, our it gives definite shape to the cell. It gives definite shape to the cell. And next is cell wall. What is the cell wall? At the very first, cell membrane is in both animal cell as well as in plant cell. Remember, cell membrane is in both animal cell and in plant cell. And it is selectively permeable. Selectively permeable means that it allows only certain substances to get inside and come outside from the cell. Okay, it is selectively permeable, which means allowing only certain substances, only allowing certain substances to come inside the cell and go outside the cell. So it is selectively permeable, and cell wall is only found in plant cell. It is not found in animal cell, and cell membrane is found in both animal cell as well as plant cell. But this cell wall. This cell wall is only found in plant cell. Remember, it is only found in plant cell. Okay? And it is in both. Yes? 
So, cell wall. What is the function of cell wall and how it is made up of? Cell wall is made up of cellulose. Remember, cell wall is made up of cellulose. What it is made up of? Cellulose. And cellulose is made up of a kind of carbohydrate. What is the name of the kind of carbohydrate it is made up of? Cellulose. Cell wall is made up of cellulose. Remember, cell wall is made up of cellulose. And cellulose is also made up of no something. So, which kind of carbohydrate the cellulose is made up of? So, cellulose is made up of polysaccharide. It is also not written in your book. Polysaccharide is a, car is a kind of carbohydrate through which cellulose is made up of. Okay? So, cellulose, uh, cell wall, it makes the cell rigid and strong. What is the function? It makes the cell rigid and strong. And it is freely permeable. It allows all the substances to go inside and come outside from the cell. Okay? And it has similarity also. It gives definite shape to the cell. They both have the, the, the similarity that they both gives definite shape to the cell. And uh, so friends, thank you. And in our next video, we will discuss more about cell membrane and cell wall. Our next video will be about organos also, we have not discussed organos till yet. So, 